Hey everyone, it's Ali and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be going over Dua Fragrances once again. They are a company that I truly do love. Um, they're just amazing all in all. What they do a lot of the time is they replicate really high-end designer and niche fragrances and you basically get them for like a fraction of what they would be costing to buy and this is their takes on those fragrances. So it's kind of like a dupe company. Um, there are certain fragrances out there in this world that I will probably never buy. The ones that are like $1,000, $2,000, dollars And what Dua does is they get their hands on those fragrances. They replicate the um, scent profile and they create their own inspired versions of those fragrances. So you get to try out those fragrances. Um, and to me, that's kind of important because I find perfumery to be an art form. And one that I feel like should be preserved like with any art form, including art. Um, just like a painting, I feel like we should preserve that, you know? And what Dua does also is that they seek out vintage formulations of fragrances that help build up the fragrance industry that were iconic back in their day. And they replicate those fragrances and then they allow you to try it for yourself. See what was the hype back in the day. And I think that's so amazing, you know? Like they sourced a really old bottle of Mitsuko from Guerlain and they created their version of it and I just think that's an amazing thing like I don't know of any other company that's trying to preserve history like that and bring back fragrances that are really hard to find and almost unaccessible to most people I think that's really cool you know they do their own inspiration of high-end designer and niche fragrances um, they resurrect vintage or discontinued fragrances. They have their own creations. They have their hybrids that they do as well. They just have something for everyone. So if you're a person that you're on the fence and you don't want to try out, you know, a company that does their dupes of other fragrances because maybe that doesn't align with you and um, how you feel, then there's something for everyone because like I said, there are dual originals as well and these are their original takes on fragrances so they're not inspired by other fragrances. This is their own creation. Or if you want to try their hybrid combinations and try those out. I have raved in the past about Poseidon's um, Jazz. It's a combination of Creed Aventus um, for him and Replica's Jazz Club combined into one to create a new fragrance and I love that fragrance. It's unisex. Men can wear it. Women can wear it. Literally anybody can wear it and it is the most addictive woody vanilla bright aromatic just gorgeous fragrance. It's everything I could want in a fragrance and that has it and I'm just like blown away every time I smell it. It's so compliment getting, it's so addictive to wear. It smells so good on everyone. Any guy wearing it, I will immediately swoon. Any girl wearing it, I'm like girl boss. Like it's just that kind of fragrance and it's that dang good. And I rave about it so much because it's literally that amazing. I love that hybrid um, combination that they created. And to this day, it's probably one of my favorite ones I have ever tried. Um, Nothing can com compare to that one, at least nothing that comes to mind right away. But whenever I think of like my favorite hybrid, my mind immediately goes to Poseidon's Jazz, which I think is really funny. Um, I don't know why. I'm just like, it's more marketed towards men, but trust me, my girls out there, try it. You probably will not regret it. Um, it's just that dang good. But yeah, anyway, back to the video. Today, I'm going to be talking about 200 ml um, fragrances that I just added to my collection from Duo Fragrances. And these are two that I was so excited to try out. And they are a gourmand affair and a chocolate affair. Since this one was announced, I was immediately like, well, that's obviously happening. And I knew I was going to get it in my collection. Um, I was so excited. I wanted to see what Duo's take on a gourmand fragrance would be. And the second I saw this one was going to be announced last year, I knew I was going to get it. Which is funny because I'm not the biggest fan of chocolate, like the note in general. Um, it's just, it's good, I like it, but it's kind of boring and linear. And I find a lot of chocolate fragrances to be very boring and linear. So I was interested to see Dua's take on a chocolate fragrance. And I went into it like with my hopes high and expectations high. And when I tell you they met my expectations, I'm telling you they met my expectations. I love this chocolate fragrance and we're going to get into it, but we're going to start with this one first. Um, and yeah, this one is a gourmand affair. 
by Dua Fragrances. It comes in the standard 100 ml bottle box, uh, bottle, the 100 ml box. Um, it says a gourmand affair on the front. This is what the back looks like. It just has some writing back there. I think it's like the ingredients list. When you open it, the fragrance sits in here. This one is a beautiful, let me put this down really quick, gradient that it has. My camera doesn't do it any justice. I am going to upgrade my setup, but as y'all know, I film on my phone. So the quality is, as the kids say, shitty AF. Um, it's not the best, but this is what the bottle looks like. It has this beautiful gradient. You can't really see it too well because, like I said, shitty camera. Um, I'm doing it from my phone. But it's like this dark green that goes up to this sort of more lime green, and I love it. And you've got this weighted cap that is reflective. It's beautiful. Just all in all, I really love these glass bottles. I love the cap. They feel luxurious. But yeah, we're here for the scent. And you guys, this, if you are a fan of gourmand fragrances and you haven't been able to find a summer gourmand fragrance that you can wear in high heat, then heart be still because this is the one, you guys. This smells tropical. It's sweet. You definitely get the coconut in this. You've got notes of tangerine, coconut flesh, coconut water, heliotrope, vanilla, cupcake, orchid, um, amber, vanilla, and white musk. Like There's quite a bit of vanilla. There are two heaping doses of vanilla in the mid and in the base of this fragrance. And you guys, oh my gosh, this is so, so good. The atomizer gives you the most fine mist. I love what these atomizers spraying it in the air and sort of walking through it. I find the distribution to be so good and it really clings on so well. All Dua fragrances are extrates. Um, so they're really high oil concentrations and they're meant to last all day. And this one really does last all day on me. But this is just stunning, you guys. In the opening, you get that burst of tangerine mixing in with the coconut flesh and that coconut water. It's really interesting because I would almost classify this as a tropical aquatic gourmand fragrance, which when I think of gourmand fragrances, I don't think of aquatic like at all. And this gives me sort of like aquatic tropical drink like holiday drink vibes like I feel like when I smell this I'm sitting on a beach I have a big coconut and I am drinking it it's got like vanilla rum inside of it and it's almost like a vanilla rum coconutty sweet concoction that's what I get from this fragrance you guys it's bright it's beautiful it's very coconut forward very vanilla as well you get slight floral nuances, but nothing too prominent. The most prominent thing I get in this is the vanilla mixing in with that sort of cakey, um, coconutty effect. But to me, when I smell this, I get the most beautiful tropical coconut dream, coconut dream, coconut drink on a holiday vacation. That's what I get from this. It's bright. It's fresh. It's slightly aquatic, which is where I'm getting this sort of like um, holiday drink vibe. It's very coconutty, very sweet, but it's not overbearing in any way. It's almost like it never becomes truly gourmand, um, but it has gourmand elements, which is really, really beautiful and such a unique, interesting take. I've never experienced a gourmand quite like this one that leans in so many different directions and plays in so many different ways. But if you're looking for a coconut forward, very vanillic, semi-aquatic fragrance that's going to do beautifully in summer and high heat then look no further than a gourmand affair this is a stunning i would say almost vanilla cupcakey vanilla like aquatic fragrance that leans in a gourmand way because like i said it reminds me of a very tropical drink sitting underneath like a palm tree if you want to experience that then you guys look no further and do yourself a favor and get yourself a gourmand affair in your life because it's really quite beautiful and there's no other way of explaining it other than that it's a beautiful sweet tropical drink that's been spiked with like vanilla rum that might be a little cupcakey as well they might have put some frosting and some whipped cream up in there too like it's just really good you guys i really like it and like i cannot wait to wear this in high heat because i feel like it's gonna perform so so beautifully and yeah those are my thoughts on a gourmand affair the next one that I'm going to be talking about is their most recent launch. This launched for the Valentine's Day holiday. 
um, week and that is a chocolate affair. The packaging looks like this. They got limited edition packaging um, for this fragrance. Everything about this fragrance is completely different than the other 100 mLs. I really love the packaging. I think it's really cool. I don't even want to get rid of the box. I think it's so sweet. It opens up like this. The fragrance sits inside. I am in love with this fragrance and the bottle. Like, I think they knocked it out of the park with the packaging on this one. And it's so freaking cool. Like, I could see why it took a while for them to get the fragrance, um, the bottles. This fragrance was postponed a couple times because, at least for the launch, because the bottles um, were taking a minute to create. They are all, I think they said, hand etched. And they're just so beautiful. Like, it's got almost like this textured glass and then this smooth glass effect that goes through in stripes. It has the beautiful Dua logo and then it says a chocolate affair on there as well. It's got this beautiful weighted gold cap. And what I love about this is that it's on there tight. Like, you can hold it from this and like, you, I don't, you don't even have to worry about this falling. Like, I'm like not even worried. Like, I could do this and like... And I know this is a deadly game I'm playing right now, but like legitimately, this is how tight the dang cap is. It's not going anywhere and I'm kind of here for it. And I love everything about this bottle is just like aesthetic goals. Oh, you guys, but this fragrance, you've got notes of Sicilian bergamot, bitter orange. You've got that cacao, tonka bean, a steamed hot chocolate note in this as well. Chocolate liqueur, chocolate cognac, um, chocolate infused coffee and white musk. When I spray this, you guys, also the mist, just like any of the Dua 100 ml bottles, is exquisite. When you spray this, you get a heaping dose of citrus in your face. You get that bright bergamot mixing in with the slight bitterness of the orange. It's not overtly bitter, but there is a slight bitterness in the orange. Um, but the bergamot is what's really shining through. I definitely smell the tonka beans and that steamed hot chocolate note is very present in this. What's interesting about the steamed hot chocolate note is that that note mixing in with the um, tonka beans adds a sort of like slightly powdery, almost slightly coconutty effect, very slightly on my skin at least. It becomes kind of coconutty, um, or at least that's what it translates to my nose. Um, it's almost coconutty because of the milk mixing in with the tonka beans. It's very sweet and something about it reminds me of coconut, at least on my skin. But it adds a sort of powdery effect. It's like the opening hits you with that super bright, juicy bergamot opening. It's very bright, slightly powdery because of that steamed hot chocolate and that tonka bean. But as it starts to settle down on the skin, it starts progressing and becoming more and more chocolate-like. All the chocolate notes start to come out in the mid, in my opinion, and they start to remind me of these little chocolate, um, coffee chocolate liquor infused candies my parents had in the house growing up. I remember stealing them from the cabinet when I was younger and like trying them out and feeling so cool because they had alcohol and I was like underage and eating this chocolate and I was like, ooh, I'm getting drunk. Even though I had like one... I was stupid growing up. But it reminds me of those chocolates. As it progresses. it's sort of boozy. You get that slight, it's very slight. It's not at all super coffee-ish in your face, but there's a slight coffeeness to the fragrance, coffeeness, a slight coffee effect to the fragrance. But what I really get is this slightly coffee, very chocolatey, slightly booziness that comes through. It's really, really interesting really really cool and you never lose that sort of bergamot it's always sort of there adding this really fresh interesting approach it's almost like there's candied orange on top of this chocolate it's almost like a candied orange um coffee chocolate infused like liqueur chocolate thing i can't even get my words out it's there's quite a few things this reminds me of but it, like i said on my skin i get this sort of slightly powdery almost slightly coconutty um, chocolate that's boozy and has like this really bright juiciness from the citruses and it's just really really good. I really like it. I like the progression. I like this sort of powdery um, citrusy opening that starts drying down and developing and you almost go through different stages of chocolate the further it dries down. 
because at one point after the bright citrusy opening, it's almost like a powdery chocolate that starts turning into a like boozy chocolate and then it starts turning into like a boozy coffee chocolate and then it settles into this really beautiful sort of bright slightly powdery musky chocolatey slightly coconutty on my skin effect it's really quite nice i think they did a beautiful job i'm interested to see if this one is going to develop the longer it sits and turn into something different as it stands, I really like the way this one smells now. And yeah, those are my thoughts on that fragrance, you guys. I go hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, and yeah, till next time, I'll catch you in the next one, you guys. Bye.